Howdy mate, we're back again. And if you remember last time we started mounting the thingy thing, this thing, and we still need to put it in the car and test it. So all the ceiling has sealed up and been dried, and we're about to throw it on and give it a first test drive, and hopefully it drives a bit smoother. I don't have the highest hopes, but hopes are hoping. So here's to hoping, let's put it in the car. Howdy mate, we're back again. And if you remember last time we started mounting the thingy thing, this thing, and we still need to put it in the car and test it. So all the ceiling has sealed up and been dried, and we're about to throw it on and give it a first test drive, and hopefully it drives a bit smoother. I don't have the highest hopes, but hopes are hoping. So here's to hoping, let's put it in the car. Just like that, it's on, tucked away, and we're gonna go ahead and take this down to the gas station, because I need to fill up on gas, and also, I need to test drive it. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get this car down there. And hopefully this will work out. I'm hoping it's at least a little smoother. Honestly, I don't have the highest of high hopes, but optimism is the key to being optimistic. So, on that note, I'm going to see if I can set you guys up and at least get you a view for the ride down. So that wasn't me. Yeah, when I do hard throttle, it, it sucks it. That's what she said, but yeah, that's good. So hard throttle, I'm fine now, that's good, that's good. But that one pop, I'm just getting one fuel cut. My seatbelt's freaking out, thinking I'm going too fast and locking up. But I'm hoping the mechanical throttle that I get Taking off the electric one will, will help that because that's what I heard it was from, a, from one of my friends. And so I think we're good. I think we're good. That's awesome. I'm so happy that that's all it was. So top tip, if any of you have a throttle or having that throttle issue where it's just blurring out, make sure your fast airflow sensor is right, right in the center of the pipe, not to the side because one I had is just raised a little too high. That's good to know. Plus you didn't have to use that bunk straightener that I had, so that's awesome. Uh, that makes me so happy, guys. That's one of my biggest like things that bugged me about this car, was just like, I know I was missing stuff with the power, but that's good. That is good. Alright, so we're back from the drive and it's actually the next day, but wow, that feels good to be able to go full throttle with only one hiccup, one fuel cut. So, the part came in, this new, not this wrapper, this drift motion part, and this is all, all it is, replacing the electronic throttle body or the throttle with just this mechanical part so that way when it hits, it'll turn the whole thing and just have the screw bolted in. That's really all it takes, so pretty much we are going to go ahead and just replace it. It's gonna be a really simple swap and hopefully it'll fix it and not mess anything up too much with the stock ECU. And if not, we can just switch it back to what it was. So 
two screws to pop this off and then we'll hopefully make that quick switch. <laughs> you got it. Are you videoing? <laughs> I don't know. Is it the I don't is it the middle or the top? <laughs> if you're videoing, you're making me laugh too much. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, you're good. Keep trying. I'm pressing like too hard. I can't feel my thumbs anymore. You don't need to press that hard. Uh, nice and light. That's the horn. What? <laughs> well, yep. the horn ain't working. I know. I haven't connected it. Is it this? That's step one. Step two is... Do you turn it? Nope. What? Well, it's pressed down. You do something else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. See that there. blue thing on the back of it? That comes forward towards you. Wait, what? Forward? So, sneak your hands here in the back. See that? Wait. All right, so while the button's down. Do that. Slide that forward. Oh. <laughs> well done. Got it. It is a new day and here's where we're at so far. The throttle body is detached. I just need to get this plug off so I can get this end of the throttle body on. I took that side off because that was a dingus. But if we could take that off, replace it with the mechanical part that's hidden under there, and we should be good to go and get everything sorted back together. In addition, I do need to take the rear bumper off because I have the mounting bracket for the chassis mount wing that's being, that's, or has been give, given away, and I need to get that all packaged up. So that's another thing we're gonna be working on. And before we start, if you're like, is, is he wearing that limited edition SHB Chach basketball jersey with matching shorts? The answer is yes. I got games today and I'm hyped, boy. If I do well, I'll throw in a couple clips, but yikes, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I think that's enough talk for that. Let's go ahead and just jump right in and uh, um, I'll just catch you guys up once I get the throttle body off because I got some finicking to do. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. So catch you in a few, boys. So I got the throttle body detached and the throttle off. And so here's what we're doing. All we're doing is replacing this part right here. So we're gonna take this nut off and then this, as you can see, will slot right onto there and we'll match that up there. Get it all screwed on, and then we'll be good to go. So that's all it is. Just like that, we got it on. One bolt off, one bolt on. Now it's time to just reattach everything and take it for a drive and see if we can get it working or see if it'll work better for us. Hope, hoping it will, but we'll see how it goes. All right, we got it all together, I hope. I'm gonna go ahead and try starting the car for the first time. Prepare for the idle to probably be a little weird because this is where I adjust the idle and I took that off first so I put it back and it's just guesswork right now. But I'm at least hoping that it'll run and not die on itself and be good. Aside from that, no, no, we'll see what happens. I may have to manual adjust, manually adjust the idle. I think that may be an issue. So it may die, but we'll see. Anyway, let's turn it on and see how it goes. I hate to admit failure, but I kind of have to a little bit. So I put it all together, and maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't, but I forgot to hook this clamp up. Fell down, and that squeaky noise was it hitting against the serpentine belt. So fat L for me there. Luckily, the belt seems to be in okay condition, just a little scrape on the outside. Doesn't look like it's it hurt anything at all. So that was that weird scraping noise, and now we're going to go ahead and turn the car on and try it again. Uh, this way to actually hear it all. I think you heard it pulsing up and down. I think I have to do a little, there's a little screw I have to set in or something, so if not, we'll go back and tackle that. But anyway, that's that for now. Try number two.
All right, so if you heard that riving, I'm sure if you know what's up, then go ahead and let me know. It sounds like it's just a little low and trying to adjust for itself, but I'm not sure at this point, but I do need to stop and get that rear bumper off and also have some lunch because I'm kind of getting hungry. So anyway, that's it for this. I'm gonna actually end the video here, even though there's more to do, just cause um, I don't wanna make this one go too long and be too boring. So anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you know what's up with the issue, drop a comment below. Also, while well, you're down there, check the link in the description if you want to become a patron, help support the channel, be able to design and build the cars for me and with me. I'm asking a lot of input from you guys for any of the patrons who join. So anyway, check those links out below. Even if you don't join, just give them a look and see what they are. Anyway, that's it. Don't forget to like, unsubscribe, leave your hate in the comments. Bye.